Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Saturday. We got 16 matchups on this MLB slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my betting links in the description below. And also guys, you guys can become a member. I think we had like five or six members sign up yesterday, guys. Definitely want to be a part of the channel. Add 100 members, guys. We're going to be doing members-only live streams a lot, which um, you guys definitely want to be a part of. So go ahead and check that out in the link below. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Huge slate today. 16 matchups. Starting with the Cleveland Guardians versus the Chicago White Sox. White Sox opening up as home favorites at minus 110. Cleveland plus 100 with the over-under at 9. Pitching for the Guardians is Tristan McKenzie with an ERA of 3.20. His last start, he pitched 8 innings. Gave up 0 runs, had 12 strikeouts. Has not allowed a run in his last 3 starts on the mound. Pitching for the White Sox is Johnny Cueto with an ERA of 2.80. His last start, he pitched 6 innings. Gave up one run, had five strikeouts. He's only given up three uh, runs in his last three starts. Uh, Cleveland on a four-game winning streak right now, beating the White Sox yesterday 8-2. to two. Played very well in that matchup. The White Sox, um, yeah, four and nine at home. Not really getting it done at home here. Uh, Cleveland, seven and three against the White Sox. Playing good against Chicago, and uh, had a nice win yesterday. And uh, yeah, love McKenzie on the mound. I'm gonna take Cleveland plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Houston Astros versus the Seattle Mariners. Houston opening up as road favorites at minus 140. Seattle plus 120 with the over under at seven. Pitching for the Astros is Justin Verlander with an ERA of 1.89. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had 10 strikeouts. Pitching for the Mariners is Logan Gilbert with an ERA of 2.76. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run and had four strikeouts. Yeah, Seattle finally losing yesterday on a 14-game winning streak. Losing 5-2 to two yesterday. Uh, Houston looked very good yesterday in that matchup. They're 7-2 and two on the road. Um, Verlander only given up one run in his last three starts here. And um, I'm liking the Astros on the road. You know, love Seattle. They had a great win streak. But I feel like now is probably when, you know, the win streak is gone. Seattle's probably going to rack up maybe a couple losses here until they get back on track again. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to take the Astros on the road. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Boston Red Sox. Toronto opening up as road favorites at minus 145. Boston plus 120 with the over-under at 9. Pitching for Toronto is Alec Manoa with an ERA of 2.28. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Pitching for the Red Sox is Cutter Crawford with an ERA of 4.50. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up three runs, and had six strikeouts. I mean, guys, yesterday, yesterday's game was absolutely insane. Toronto winning 28-5. to it just sucks because I'm all. Anytime a game like this happens, I'm always on the other side. I thought it was an even matchup, which it was. Boston plus one and a half. This was just some random occurrence that Toronto just was just hitting everything. Twenty-eight to five. No one in the entire world can predict an outcome like that. Um, we'll chalk it up as a fluke game. Just one of those random games. If you took Boston, you just you just got to move on and kind of laugh. Um, but yeah, I like Alec Manoa here coming off a huge game yesterday for the Blue Jays here. Um, hard to, hard to trust Boston in this one. Um, so I'm gonna take Toronto on the road. Next matchup with the Chicago Cubs versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 165. The Cubs plus 140 with the over under at eight. 
Pitching for the Cubs is Marcus Stroman with an ERA of 4.69. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up one run, and had six strikeouts. Pitching for the Phillies is Zach Wheeler with an ERA of 2.89. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up six runs, had four strikeouts. Yeah, Wheeler coming off a bad start on the mound, but his prior two matches did not allow a run. Cubs coming off a 15-2 win yesterday. I mean, one of those crazy games where they just absolutely dominated. Um, I do like Zach Wheeler on the mound in this matchup. I'm taking the Phillies at home. Coming off that bad, bad loss yesterday, I think they bounce back today. So I'm going to take the Phillies at home. Next matchup, we have the Minnesota Twins versus the Detroit Tigers. Twins opening up as road favorites at minus 175. Detroit plus 145 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Twins is Joe Ryan with an ERA of 2.99. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run and had three strikeouts. Pitching for Detroit is Michael Pineda with an ERA of 5.22. His last start, he pitched two innings. Gave up eight runs, had one strikeout. Minnesota coming off that 11-0 loss against the White Sox. Detroit coming off a 5-0 loss against Oakland. Um, Yeah, I like Joe Ryan on the mound. Been very solid here. Pineda coming off an eight-run game in his last start here. I'm going to take the Twins on the road. Next matchup, we have the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Cincinnati Reds. Cardinals opening up as road favorites at minus 160. The Reds plus 135 with the over-under at 10.5. Pitching for the Cardinals is Steven Matz with an ERA of 6.03. His last start, he pitched one inning, gave up zero runs, had zero strikeouts. I think in that game he got pulled. That's what it looks like. Pitching for the Reds is Mike Miner with an ERA of 6.21. His last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up one run and had six strikeouts. Cardinals losing to the Reds yesterday, 9-5. Yeah, an unfortunate loss yesterday for them. Um, I'm going to take Cardinals coming off a bounce back loss here. I think it's a bounce back day today. I'm going to take Cardinals on the road. Next matchup, we have the Miami Marlins versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Marlins opening up as road favorites at minus 115. The Pirates minus 105 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Marlins is Max Mayer with an ERA of 8.44. His last start, he's only pitched one time this season. He pitched five innings, gave up five runs, and had five strikeouts. Pitching for uh, the Pirates is Jose Quintana with an ERA of 3.79. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up six runs, had three strikeouts. Miami beating Pitt eight to one yesterday. Pretty dominant game for them. Um, not in love with either pitcher on the mound. So the over is kind of looking like a better play here. But if I had to pick, I'm gonna take Pirates plus one and a half at home. Um, Mayor didn't really look that good in his debut. We'll see how well he plays in this matchup here. But I'm gonna take Pirates plus one and a half. Next matchup, we have the New York Yankees versus the Baltimore Orioles. Yankees opening up as road favorites at minus 220. The Orioles plus 200 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Yankees is Garrett Cole with an ERA of 3.02. His last start, he pitched 7 innings, gave up 2 runs, had uh, 12 strikeouts. Pitching for Baltimore is Jordan Lyles with an ERA of 4.76. His last start, he pitched two innings, gave up six runs, and had five strikeouts. Uh, Yankees beating Baltimore 7-6. Baltimore, another cover yesterday. Um, Yeah, you know, the Yankees are 9-2 against Baltimore. I've been pretty dominant against Baltimore, but let's be real here. I mean, Baltimore only losing by one yesterday. Yankees not playing the hottest baseball right now. To lay minus 220 on the Yankees would be insanely risky today. Especially if they only won by one yesterday. Baltimore could have easily won and can still easily win here. Uh, Jordan Lyles hasn't been horrible on the mound. Um, 
Garrett Cole's been been good, but um, I'm gonna take Orioles plus one and a half on the road. I'm just not in love with the minus two twenty. I think Orioles can cover and could at plus two hundred. Orioles are not a bad team at all to get a win. They're a very good team as of late, and um, I'll take a shot with the Orioles plus one and a half. And they're plus one and a half is plus one twenty. How can you not like that? So we'll take Orioles run line on the road or at home. Next matchup, we have the Colorado Rockies versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 280. Colorado plus 230 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Rockies is Jose Urena with an ERA of 2.05. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, and had four strikeouts. Pitching for the Brewers is Brandon Woodruff with an ERA of 3.93. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs and had four strikeouts. Pitching, um, yeah, uh, the Rockies losing to the Brewers yesterday, six to five. Very close matchup. Um, they're zero and six against the Brewers, where they have struggled. I do like Urena on the mound. It's been actually very good for the Rockies here. Um, you know, Woodruff has been pretty solid as well, but giving up five runs in his last two starts. To lay minus 280 on the Brewers, man, that seems way so risky. Only winning by one yesterday. Urena is a very good pitcher for the Rockies. Man, I don't know. I'm going to take Rockies plus one and a half on the road at plus 110. Man, that's pretty good money right there. Just minus 280s, man. It's really hard to trust. If the, if the pitching matchup was different, I would be all over the Brewers. But Urena has been pitching better than Woodruff has in the last few games. So, um... I'll take Rockies plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Kansas City Royals. Rays opening up as road favorites at minus 120. The Royals plus 100 with the over-under at 10 and a half. Pitching for the Rays is Luis Patino with an ERA of 6.75. His last start, he pitched three innings, gave up two runs, had zero strikeouts. Has only given up one run in his last three starts. Brady Singer, or pitching for the Royals as Brady Singer with an ERA of 4.14. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Tampa Bay winning yesterday's matchup 7 to 3, played very well. Uh, Royals on a four game losing streak. Yeah, love Patino on the mound, has been good in his last three starts. And uh, I'm going to take the Rays on the road. Next matchup with the San Francisco Giants versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 180. The Giants plus 150 with the over-under at 8. Pitching for the Giants is Alex Wood with an ERA of 4.20. His last start he pitched 4 innings. Gave up 0 runs, had 7 strikeouts. Pitching for the Dodgers is Julio Urias with an ERA of 2.89. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up one run, and had eight strikeouts. Um, yeah, Dodgers beating the Giants 5-1 to one and 9-6 to six in the last two matchups. They're on a six-game winning streak. And yeah, the Giants just 0-5 against the Dodgers where they've struggled. Um, they just, yeah, don't play well against the Dodgers here. Love Julio on the mound. Alex Wood's been very good on the mound as well, but Dodgers just play too well, especially at home and against the Giants here. So I'm going to take the Dodgers at home. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Angels versus the Atlanta Braves. Braves opening up as home favorites at minus 200. LA plus 170 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Angels is Patrick Sandoval with an ERA of 3.0. His last start, he pitched four innings, gave up two runs, and had three strikeouts. Pitching for the Braves is Kyle Wright with an ERA of 2.95. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up two runs, and had four strikeouts. Angels 1-9 and nine in their last 10 Losing 8-1 to one against the Braves yesterday, pretty dominant one for Atlanta, especially with Otani on the mound, which I just knew couldn't trust the Angels. Yeah, I like Kyle Wright on the mound, been pretty good. 
Um, and yeah, I'm going to take the Braves at home in this one. Next matchup, we have the Washington Nationals versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Arizona opening up as home favorites at minus 155. Washington plus 130 with the over under at 9. Pitching for the Nationals is Anibal Sanchez with an ERA of 7.20. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, and had five strikeouts. Pitching for Arizona is Madison Bumgarner with an ERA of 3.83. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, and had three strikeouts. Washington 1 and 9 in their last 10, losing to 10 to 1 yesterday against Arizona. Um yeah, I like Arizona here. Um coming off a huge win yesterday. Don't trust the Nationals. I'm going to take Arizona at home. Next matchup, we have the Texas Rangers versus the Oakland Athletics. Rangers opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Oakland plus 105 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Rangers is Taylor Hearn with an ERA of 5.78. His last start, he pitched three innings, gave up eight runs, and had four strikeouts. Pitching for Oakland is James Caprillian with an ERA of 5.09. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had four strikeouts. The Rangers coming off a 5-4 loss yesterday against Oakland. Uh, one and five in their last six right now. Kind of struggling. Um, Hearn coming off an eight-run game. He's given up 14 runs in his last three starts. I do not like that. Caprillian's been pretty good in his last three starts. Yeah, I'm going to take a shot with Oakland plus one and a half at home. All right, next matchup, we have the San Diego Padres versus the New York Mets. Mets opening up as home favorites at minus 155. The Padres plus 130 with the over-under at 7.5. Pitching for the Padres is Blake Snell with an ERA of 5.22. His last start, he pitched three innings, gave up five runs, and had five strikeouts. Pitching for the Mets is Chris Bassett with an ERA of 3.79. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Uh, Padres beating the Mets yesterday 4-1. Uh, nice win for them, but they are 4-10 and ten on the road where they have struggled here. Um, I like Mets to bounce back today at home. I like Chris Bassett on the mound. I'm going to take Mets in this one. And then the last matchup, we have game two of the doubleheader between the Cleveland Guardians versus the Chicago White Sox. I can't find a line on this game just because it is a game two and it's a later night game. But I do have the pitching info. Uh, pitching for the Guardians is Connor Pilkington with an ERA of 4.24. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had three strikeouts. Pitching for the White Sox is Lance Lynn with an ERA of 7.50. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up six runs, and had six strikeouts. Cleveland, uh, yeah, beating the White Sox 8-2 yesterday. Not in love with Lynn on the mound. He's actually been, he's been so bad on the mound, giving up so many runs. I do not trust Lance Lynn here. So I'm going to take Cleveland, whether they're the favorite or the underdog in game two. We're taking Guardians on the road in both matchups. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.